everybody, welcome to number five in Making Sense of Phonics. So this is to help parents at home teach your children phonics. So I'll give you a very quick guide on how to do it when children have moved through phase two, so they know all their individual sounds and the phonemes and the graphemes that go together. When they know their phase three sounds too. And this is when we begin to see two letters making one sound, so we've got those diagraphs and they're confident at those and they can remember what they look like, what they say and how to write them. Then children are reading longer words and we looked at those when we looked at phase four words. So a phase four word might look something like this. This is quite a long word, so when a child comes to read it, they need to firstly remember Look for and see if there's a digraph or trigraph in it. See if they can spot it. I'm going to add their bench so I can see an R and an R there. And then sound it out. And for long words, they might like to do something that at school we called snowballing. So we begin to build the words up because when you're young and you're a child, it's really hard to remember all the sounds if you go foot. R, M, Y, R, D. That's really hard to remember it and keep it in your head. So we might go R, F, R, F, R, M, F, R, M, F, R, M, Y, F, R, M, Y, R, D. And the last one, D, F, R, M, Y, R, D. So you begin to build the word up layer by layer because it helps the children remember it. So if you find children have long words and they can't re remember it, that's a bit of a typical way to do it. But English isn't as straightforward as one sound or one set of letters. I have a whole set of words here and they all have the A sound in it. So we have train and there's a digraph in there. We'll add the bench for the digraph. Here we go, train. Oh look, we have another one here that's got an A sound in it. Say, that, say. Oh my goodness, we have the word eight. And yet again, there's another way of making that A sound. Oh, cake. Yet another way in English to make the A sound and this time it's what we call a split digraph because there's a letter that becomes it in between so it's a split so an A again sometimes we just have A on its own making the A sound and another two letters that again veins that say A all these ways are the same way of making that A sound in a word. So children, when they're at phase five phonics, need to be able to begin to learn that there are alternative digraphs. And the only way they get to learn these is by you introducing them and by them reading lots and lots of words and beginning to sort them so that they know when they write them, which digraph tends to make sense. And your children to begin with are gonna pick the wrong ones but it will help them when you're reading to begin to spot the different ways of making digraphs. And we're going to give you a link where you can go online and find all the different ways that children will learn with alternative digraphs. And we'll give you some links of how to say them too. Phase 5 phonics, give it a go.